Oh, he's weird, uh, Marilyn Manson. He was on, um, did you watch uh, Walking Dead yet? I just watched it uh, last night. Yeah, me too. It was so good. Yeah. So fucking good. But on Talking Dead, which is like the wrap-up show concept, they... Uh, they had Marilyn Manson. Yeah. yeah. And, and then they go to Marilyn, and I got to say, he's off his rocker. They <laughs> Like, I guess he's a fan of The Walking Dead. He seemed to know the characters and everything. But uh-huh. when they go to him for an answer, it was just way out there. I got to watch that. Let I want to see. see. I have some Do of you that. have any? I might have some of it. Because I saw he was doing it. I was like, wow, that's interesting. Marilyn Manson on Talking Dead. Oh, no, there's no way you could even sit through Marilyn's answer. And I love Marilyn, but Jesus Christ, what the fuck was he talking about? <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, yeah here. I, got, I do have some of it. We got that, J.D.? Marilyn Manson on Talking Dead? Here we go. Here, wait. And I, I don't know if it's, it's something snapped and she changed or if it just, like, this is just the way that she's always did, been. Didn't you guys always think that she was going to sleep with Daryl? Well, that's still <laughs> on the table as far as I'm think, concerned. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It, it's, it's, it's strange because, you know, it, I love that it's a zombie show, but it's essentially about morality. Right. And you've got Rick Grimes, who's, for the most part, tried to do what he thought was right. Now, they're sitting on a couch. It's yeah. Marilyn Manson. It's the dude who's the host. I don't know his name, but he's good. Chris Hardwick? Chris somebody. Then you got Jack Osborne. Right. There. And you have the woman who is one of the... She's like the head writer of Walking Dead. Yes. And uh, she's looking over at Marilyn. And they're all, you know, they're all like, hey, this is kind of cool. <laughs> Marilyn Manson's into the show. And then all of a sudden, he starts going into this thing. <laughs> and they're all like trying in the worst way to stop him. Well, the way he's talking, I'm like, does he realize this show's only a half hour? Yeah. Right. <laughs> but in a zombie type situation where there's no rules, morality kind of it goes right back to basics, basic morality. It's almost biblical, where you know you you have to react. And Rick's made the mistake of trying to save other people's children, and it's affected him losing his right wife you guys are, yeah right right uh, 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 yeah can you wrap this up where are we going here yeah, and then he has you know Sh- shane what i call criminal ear because his ear looks criminal there's an old study like <laughs> oh, there's an old study about yeah. the shape of people's ears made them criminal or not is we it, are deep is, diving is, today we're yeah, yeah, trying to be nice yeah. Like, yeah like we're deep di- uh, uh jack Osborne, what do you think of the show <laughs> I, I, what do you think of Rick, the sheriff? <laughs> no one is going to get a chance to speak. Oh, my God. <laughs> Marilyn Manson was the best. He just fucking brought the whole goddamn thing to a halt. It was great. It was, it, it, it was crazy. This is from Heather S. on Facebook. It seems like everyone is losing love. Now they're trying to avoid Marilyn Manson. <laughs> do you think it's important to care about people during a zombie apocalypse, or should survival be the only goal? I think you should care about people for a little bit, and then when everyone starts dying, it's just all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jack has a quick answer. Yeah. You know, right. I think I think it's a, almost like in real life, which Uh-oh. I like to use. I always use zombie as a metaphor. You know, if you're stuck in a situation, you get a pencil, piece of paper. You can either write a suicide note. You can stab someone, wipe your butt with it. You can do whatever you want. I can hurt. You know, like, the, you've got uh, limited options. The woman who is, like, the executive producer on the case, she's staring at Marilyn Manson like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> I thought this I was a, writing a show yeah, about yeah. craziness. <laughs> Listen to so this. You have to react okay. and live with the situation. But when it comes to the survival and loved ones, and this is the choice that maybe Rick has made mistakes on, it's like, okay, say you get mad oh in a different God. situation. Yeah, 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 You're yeah. mad because... It's like a dumb little yeah. wrap-up show, and, like, Marilyn's hijacking it. It was great. I, I was <laughs> loving it. It was the most uncomfortable. Are the they host... so... How soon did they get sorry they had this booking? Oh, oh, he's never... I can guarantee you Marilyn Manson will never end up... And they're all probably excited, like, wow, yeah, Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. This is cool. You know, someone fornicated <laughs> to your girlfriend, so you want to kill this person, right? But that could put you, but that could put you in jail. Now not the host is stepping in, but he didn't know what. To and do. then Marilyn's still trying to make his oh, point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, both. <laughs> but you could then you could get put in jail, so you really wouldn't be doing anyone any good, right? Unless and right. I'm not talking about that. Was the most insincere right uh, I've ever heard. Uh, is he talking about the same show we're all talking about? Yeah, but he's way too philosophical about it. He's like comparing a, a life to this show. This is just a fucking dumb show about zombies. Marilyn's trying to figure out life yeah. from watching the zombie show. You gotta love him. 
He wrecked the talking dead, and it was beautiful. It was like a beautiful wrecking ball. You know what he reminds me of, though? Yeah. He reminds me of those two characters from Breaking Bad who would be high on meth, and then they'd just go on and on. He's the type of guy, like, if he had had my father as a father, like, at an early age, my father would go, Shut up! You tell a story, you go on too long, no one is listening. My father would have straightened him right the fuck out. Right. He should be talking to Badger and Skinny Pete. He shouldn't be talking to Chris Hartwell. Yeah, in general. I'm curious. There's there's someone there's online there's is writing an algorithm. There's, 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 there's morality. There's morality, but then there's choices of pragmatism and deciding whether. Wow. Okay, is this okay? This is the moral choice. Right. That guy uh, needs to die from doing. Isn't that cool? Right. right. Uh, uh, big wrecking ball. How much is it going to mess up everything afterwards? <laughs> sure. The butterfly effect. I was the one guy left watching The Talking Dead. Like I just wanted to hear some shit about the episode I just watched. Right. And the writer's not getting to say a word. Oh, she she's, actually knows something. She fell asleep. She's like, she was like a zombie. And she was so peppy when they first started. Right. She was like, hi, everybody. Yeah, you know, hey, I finally have a hit TV show. I'm going to tell you. I can produce right. it. She's like, I'm going to tell you everything. Yeah, so honey, and Marilyn won't let her talk. Marilyn, Marilyn Manson is going to take over now and fucking talk until you can't keep away. It always seems to be like whenever. It, it, there's Jack Osborne up and chipper and yeah. gets the whole thing. It's the fan. Everyone. And all of a sudden, Marilyn looks over and goes, Shut up, Gail. I've got this. <laughs> I'm going to take over. Anyway, I've got tons of tape of it. It's, it's, it's magnificent. Oh, that's, I can't, I'm going to watch mm. that this afternoon. I've got it. So if you tape. go back and look at no, it look, again, look, look, think, you know, she's like talking about the actual show. Yes. You know? I think you'll find it very difficult to tell the difference between our real zombies on set and the ones that Stargate added right. after the yeah. fact. Simple statement, easy to follow, little behind the scenes fact, yeah. blah, 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 behind the scenes. Uh oh, somebody's getting revved up over <laughs> the other end of the couch. Uh. Here we go. Mega Herd made World War Z its bitch. It made, the Megahertz made World War Z its bitch? Yeah. Uh, explain, it, Marilyn Manson. Well, no, because... don't ask. <laughs> What's wrong with you, why'd you ask? Reap what ye shall show, or something like that. World War Z had uh, all that climbing. They didn't even have Brad Pitt. I can't wait to cover this on Talking Z, but... the after show for <laughs> World War Z. <laughs> the, the zombie herd. It'll be very short. Maybe the, the zombie herd gave me the fidgets. It did. It was it just did. like, it was uh, almost like the first season. When you see a lot of them, you suddenly think, wow, I should not have meddled with that first one. It's kind of like when you're at a club, you start to fight with some guy and think that you're tough, take your jacket off, oh, I've been to jail, yeah. type of thing, and you haven't been to jail, and then his friends show up, and you have no friends. This is the greatest thing. <laughs> this is the greatest thing ever. Like, I would have paid Marilyn Manson to do this. Well, now I'm thinking Marilyn Manson should be on every talk every show. Every fucking show. This guy... Commandeer the conversation. This is how you fuck with people on a talk show. <laughs> there is nothing better. <laughs> zombie apocalypse. You know, like when you go and you have a fight and then you don't fight and you he, he took, has friends and you don't have friends. He took the most frivolous, fun topic in the world, the zombie walking dead show, which everyone loves, and took it and beat it, beat it up. He beat it into the ground. He fucking taught everyone a lesson. You're going to have fun with the walking dead? No, I'm going to make it. This is serious. This These is are ser life lessons here. Yeah, this is going to turn it into like Bible class. <laughs> And make you suffer through it. It's biblical. I'll make you hate The Walking Dead. Oh, it was so great.